Good morning uh, from Malaysia for everyone. My name is Dr. Muhammad Aizlat and I will present my study that the factors associated with health status among foster communities in the Tunis Tapapak, Sabah. Um, okay, for the introductions, uh, the coastal area in Sabah are probably unique compared to coastal area of Peninsula Malaysia and Sarawak, such as many of their coastal zones are remote and inaccessible. Their public health care is also limited in infrastructures and numbers, and they also have a high number of undocumented and stateless individuals. Besides, Sabah has the highest poverty rates compared to other states in Asia. A previous study uh, conducted in the coastal population of Sabah has reported that several non communicable diseases cases were higher than the prevalence of national and Sabah state. The reported prevalence of this and CD were also inconsistent as compared to national rural population. Moreover, the previous study also reported that the prevalence of undiagnosed cases of NCD were significant among rural coastal communities in Indonesia. This evidence led to the present study objective, which is to determine the health status and its associated factors among the coastal communities in Sabah, Malaysia. So we conducted a population-based study in the coastal communities at Tumustapa Park, Sabah, which is one of the marine protected areas in Malaysia. During the data collection, we approach first our respondents and then get their content to participate in the study. We interview them uh, based on our validated questionnaire, which consists of social demographic background, social economic, modified lifestyle factors, dietary intake, and medical profile of the study participant. Besides, we measure the height and weight for the body mass index, waist and hip circumference, and also the blood pressure. As you can see in this picture, which was taken during one of the data collection trips. We define the health status as good if the respondent denied any self-reported chronic disease and not classified as hypertension from our blood pressure measurement. After the data collection, we perform the statistical analysis accordingly. For result, our study involves 610 respondents and 347 households. Majority of our respondents were Bajau, Muslim, married, female, and received secondary education. In terms of job, majority of them were working as fishermen or involved in the aquaculture activities, and majority of them had low household income. We found that uh, 49 percent of this coastal population were in poor health status. We also found that 34 percent of population were at the risk of hypertension, and another 37 percent uh, had hypertension. Besides, we observed the prevalence of obesity are uh, at element rates at 47 percent. From the regression analysis, we found that factors of older age group and low level of education were significantly associated with poor had status among the respondent, which indicate that the respondent which or the age group and low level of education are more likely to have poor head status. In conclusion, we conclude that almost half of the respondent had poor head status, which reflected a high prevalence of NCD in this population. We suggest that uh, an alternative health care intervention tailored to the local context is needed in order to improve the head status of the communities. By that, I end my presentation. Thank you so much.